those of you who have been here for a while will remember this 55. So it's got highway 46 mil closed port top end, still 028 super piston. This thing has 245 pounds of compression. And I always felt that the Zama didn't supply enough fuel. So I've gone and put a HDA 120 for a 262 on here. The end game for this project was always to try and make that saw run with this saw. And there's a big <laughs> difference between those two. Is this stock is 4.1 horse and this was 3.3. So we had quite a bit of ground to cover. For testing purposes, we're running a 20 inch 3 8 That's an Oregon Vanguard, but it's sharpened quite well. This is the first time that this 254 has ever had a 3 8 setup on it. This was my dad saw. He bought it new. It's never ran anything but a 15 inch and 325. So this is a learning experience for me on the 254 as well. This saw was shelf bound for quite a while because I knew I needed more carb on it. And I had tried a couple different Zamas and I got the same results. So I knew I was running out of carb. So we went from a 15.8 mil bore up to a 17.5 mil bore on this carb because this is a HDA 120 off of a liter are kind of what I expected. It's a hell of a lot stronger than a stock 55, but even with 245 pounds of compression and quite a bit of porting, it's not quite at the 254 as well. There's a little bit I want to do yet to the porting. I want to change my exhaust height a bit and give her a little bit more blowdown, see if that helps, but I think it's getting about as close to the 254 as it's going to get. And that 254 is 100% bone stock other than the muffler mod.